Magandang mag- Magandang hapong po mga kababayan and welcome muli sa inyong favorite Saturday afternoon show sa RH. Kaya mo yan. Kasama si partner Emer Gingon at si Chairman Ricky Alegre na nasa, asan ba si partner Ricky ngayon? Emer. Ang daming daming trabaho. Kaya... <laughs> Dahil sa gobyerno. <laughs> yes. Bravo. Yes, magandang magandang hapon. Good afternoon all over the world. And yes, DZRH, we're back. Yes, we're kamusta? Back. Kamusta? May nagtanong sa akin, bakit kaya mo yan? Kasi yan ang dapat maging mantra natin sa buong buhay natin, di ba? Na kahit anong, uh, kahit anong mga krisis o pagsubok na darating sa buhay po natin, kung meron po tayong spirit of positivism, Yes. na kaya natin ang lahat. Siyempre, kasama ng ating Panginoon, yes. diba? ang ating pananalig at uh, paniniwala sa sarili sa ating kakayanan, kaya natin ang lahat. Yun. Eh, talaga naman yan ang spirit ng ating Filipino. Eh. Inspire eh, lagi ng nebayanihan tapos nagsasama-sama. Kakayanin lahat ng mga problema. Ayun. Uh, very, very inspiring. Na- yes, yes, yes. Na- very inspiring news. today lifestyle itong show na ito. At uh, we're happy to say that our ratings are very high. At oh. magpapasalamat po tayo sa lahat ng ating mga taga-subaybay, mga mm. nagsusuporta sa Kaya Mo Yan. At uh, rest assured na we will continue with the good news for all of us every Saturday para sa inyong lahat. Kasi po ito ay month of March na Women's Month Yes. Ang ah, mga kwento namin ay kwento. Ano yun, partner? Kwentong kababai. Oh, kaba. <laughs> yes, ang mga magaganda at siyempre mga halimbawa na ehemplo ng excellence at lahat ng pag-ibig para sa bayan ang mga ay na kayong mga kababaihan. Sa inyo po itong buwan na to. Ayan. <laughs> mga babae, mga kababaihan. Ito ay para sa inyong lahat, para sa ating lahat. Yes. Okay, ay marami ring marami ring gustong gumreet but you know, mga birthday celebrants. Yes. Happy birthday. Marami po tayong mga kaibigan dyan, sa DJ San Jose. Happy birthday. And of course, sino pa ba ang mga nagse-celebrate sa families natin? Uh, bur- uh, yeah. My my brother, yeah, Gary is also celebrating. Yes. Lahat ng may birthday ngayon, happy birthday. Pagpalain po kayo ng Panginoon. Yes. <laughs> So ano ba yung kwento natin? We have two special guests this afternoon, di ba, Partner Emmer? Oh yes, talagang uh, today the Filipinas who change, you're trying to change the world. Sila yung mga make a difference. Talagang yung isa galing naman sa Las Vegas, dapat sana maging judge or justice, ipinagpalit niya para tumulong muli. At yung isa naman, meron din siyang NGO foundation, yung uh, Zonta, mga kababaihan din yon Ang dami nilang ginagawang kabutihan sa communities yeah. and they're also both in educating education naman sila yes okay lahat po nito sa amin pagbabalik meron po tayong special reminders ba partner yes uh, later uh, magbreak muna po tayo dahil ang ganda-ganda po ng aming episode the Filipinas who are changing the world magwagi ang mga pinay Is brought to you by HCS Manufacturing Corporation, ISO certified, world class quality. You really have to have that really good mindset. What the mind does, the body will follow. My name is Gabriella Venturina. I'm 26 years old. I'm a certified personal trainer and certified strength and conditioning specialist. And currently, I am a senior law student. I was never really a quitter in anything that I did. The thing is, you really have to put it in your mindset that you will accomplish that goal. You have to have a certain amount of discipline to be able to still put in the work every day, even on times when it hurts. But given that discipline and that grit to keep going and persevere, 
it's definitely going to go a long way and it's going to be able to help you accomplish a lot of goals and of course win several races later on. And in that process, I still do see MX3 as a partner in all of my future endeavors, especially in the field of fitness. So MS3 fits in here because antioxidants really play a good part in a person's uh, physical wellness and health. Especially with my case, there's a lot of stress there. And having you know, to take antioxidants every day, it would really help. It's anti-inflammatory, it's even helpful for my immune system, so that really goes a long way. I'd like to thank MS3 for being my partner in health and fitness. New Champion Supra Power Detergent. Tanggalang pintura, dugo, juice, pute, koyo, ice, kamatika, kray, ketchup, at iba ba? Sa MSJ Technology, Maxulinis, Maxulit. New Champion Super Power Detergent with x Technology. Hello, Washi! Laundry day na naman! Yehey! Anong meron? Mancha ng chocolate, oh. butik, oh. may libag pa! Kaya natin yan! With Pride Washing Machine Detergent, may triple stain away formula. Tanggal ang makapit, madikit, at malupit na dumit mancha. Kaya isi-isi ang nabada. Mula noon, hanggang uh -huh. ngayon. All you need is pride. All you need is pride. ACS. Kaplus. Charm. Charm Fabric Conditioner with Stain Brush Technology. Damit ay kabloom sa bango. Charm Fabcon. Bangong kumakabloom. Charm Fabcon. Damit ay may bango ng sati bong kulakak. Charm Fabric Conditioner. Bangong kabloom. ACS. New Champion Supra Power Detergent. Tanggal ang pintura. Dugo. Juice. Pute. Koyo. Ice. Kamatika. Kray. Ketchup. At iba ba? Sa X-Stain Technology. Max Linis. Maxulit, new champion super power detergent with X stain technology. Ayan, mga kababayan, andito na naman po tayo. Yes! Ang itong kababaihan, alam natin na ang isa sa mga kayamanan ng isang babae ay ang yes. kanyang puso. Ang kanyang kapangyarihan sa puso niya na pagmamahal at pagmamahal sa mundo. Ba? Hindi lamang para sa pamilya niya, yes. kundi pa rin sa kanyang komunidad, yes. para sa mga mahihirap. Ito po ay ang ating kwentong kababaihan. Partner Emmer, sino po ang ating first guest? Wow, yes. Ito na po. Ay siya po ay si Rose Cabrera. Alam mo, accomplished leader yan. Social justice advocate yan. Galing sa LA. Dapat abog abogado to sa... Amerika eh, magiging judge na nga dapat. Eh, pinagpalit niya po, more than 20 years ago, she gave up that successful and lucrative career sa LA para tumulong at nag-uwi ng, uh, ng gawad kalinga US. Siya po ang nag-lead po noon. At, and for seven years, napunta naman po siya sa Gconomics, isang social enterprise platform. At ngayon, trusty siya ng kaisahang Buhay Foundation. One of the longest running child and family welfare yan dito sa Pilipinas. And now, she is back. Bumalik yeah. na naman po ulit sa Las Vegas kasi meron siyang the big mission na talaga naman. Ano? Ang executive director ngayon ng economics ng mobile education na tinatawag na clickme.ph. Mga kaibigan, mga kaya mo yan. Let us all welcome. Miss Rose Cabrera. Yes. Hi Rose and welcome. Thank you. Hello. Good afternoon to everybody. Kwento niyo naman ng storya niyo. Ang ganda naman ng ginagawa niyo. Nako, thank you ah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so, Rose, um, go. Mm -mm. Okay. So I uh yeah, I'm a lawyer by profession. Uh pero now I consider myself a social justice advocate. Uh, How do you so I grew do up that? Yeah, so I uh I grew up in the Philippines. Um but when I was 7 years old, some my brother took me to a, a slum community in Sapang Palay. So it made pala. a big Seven. Yeah, basta alam ko exactly, basta maliit pa ako noon. <laughs> Sapang Palay community and it really parang made a big difference kasi I felt I couldn't understand why there was such poverty, 
um, why we were letting it happen. And somehow parang nag, nag-stick na siya sa mind ko na when I grow up, I'm gonna do something about that. Parang ganun. So, and then I went to a school um, that had a very strong social awareness program, St. Teresa's College in Quezon yes. City. Mm-hmm. And they were really parang, you know, they made sure that as we got good quality education, they were also exposing us to the realities of society. And so that strengthened my desire to do something, you know, um, meaningful when I grew up. So, you know, and, um, I ended up in the States and I became a lawyer. Um, I practiced for so America. So America yeah. Oh, oh. I, I went to the U.S. when I was 17. So I went to college at Cal Poly Pomona. And then I went to law school at UCLA. Um, and I practiced for... Challenge in Siguro. US laws. <laughs> kasi when I um I actually uh spent a year here uh in college at UP Diliman. I was political science major. And you know, I wanted to be a human rights lawyer, you know, but somehow our family um had plans, so we went to the States and sabi ko, Nako, hindi ako pwedeng lawyer dito because I didn't know anybody and you know the system is so different. But I guess uh God really had plans for me. So I ended up um, meeting some people who helped me and then I got admitted to UCLA and the rest is history. So I practiced for 10 years and I really enjoyed it. Um, yung nga, dream ko nga, I, was, I wanted to be a judge uh, and I was on my way um, to achieving that dream. But I got involved in Gawad Kalinga. Yeah. Yeah. And I really felt, I saw, I saw in that a way to build a lasting foundation for social justice. Yeah. Um, not anymore officially. I'm I'm still a volunteer, but I had an parang offshoot siya. Baby siya ng gawit kalinga yes. yung comment. So I had that and uh, our flagship program is now uh, called uh, Click Me, Click Mobile Education. So that's really my focus for the next 5 years. Yeah. Pag sinabi yung Click Me, paano yan? Ano ba yung procedure? Yeah. Um kasi we realized so 8 years na to in the making no we've been uh, trying to incubate it as a social enterprise. Um but we realized kasi about 2016 na uh, ang dami pa lang Filipinos hindi nakakatapos ng high school. Yes. Like, like, almost like 39% of our people drop out of high school. And I was so surprised to you know to see that statistic and when you see the response parang very um it's not it's not proportional kasi syempre, di ba, as it is, sobrang hirap na nga ng public schools, ng formal schools, ang dami ng ano. So, na, parang napapabayaan the dropouts. And we were challenged to do something about it. And so, that's why we decided to focus on on them, on the high school dropouts. And so, we we came up kasi para pang tech plus heart. No? That is yes. our um, parang formula for success. So, we want to use technology because that's how you can really exponentially scale and help mm-hmm. the most, no? Because, mm-hmm. syempre, the brick and mortar traditional schools, yes, they're good, but they're so expensive, and obviously, we don't have much resources. So, we wanted to use technology. Sabi nga, if all the evil people in this world use technology with the, you know, the child traffickers, the drug, um, you know, parang the pedophiles, they use the dark web. So bakit tayong trying to do good? Let's also use technology to you know to our advantage. So we um we have an app um yes. and the, the idea is to really bring um the trainings and the ALS review materials to those who need them most. So um with the tech our app we are also tapping the global Filipino diaspora. Ano ng app niyan, Rose? Para I'm sorry. Sa mga... uh, Clickmeet.ph on um, our website. Yes. yes. Although right now we're in the pilot stage. Um, first two years it, we're really just perfect focusing on our pilot community. So right now we have ten. Yes. We hope yes. have fifteen. Pero by year three, our goal is to exponentially scale and really reach millions. So we have what we call five M in five Y. Five million Filipinos educated in five years. Ah, that is wow. Ang year one. We are in year, year one. Yes. Wow. Oo. And Pero we, pinipili nyo ang mga komunidad mo na. Yes. Our uh, Click Me community is about 100 learners. So we really need dedicated partners kasi ang key dyan to every community is the facilitator. 
the learning facilitator. Also, And the beauty mga facilitators niyo ay mga kusang loob, that's voluntary work. Um they are but they we do give them an allowance. Yes. Uh because we realize, you know, reality is of course they need uh, no but but um they are supported by what we call our global learning exchange. So that's people like me, uh, the diaspora um who volunteer at least two hours a month. Diba? Very doable yun kasi it makes a difference. Tawag nga namin sa aming work, PHL, mm. gift. Presence, hope, and love. Because more than the money, of course we need money, pero syempre, para ang, ang, ang big difference is the presence. And we have been doing our global learning exchange via Zoom and chat um, for since July last year. no And super, super, um, <laughs> super uh, talagang overwhelming when you see the impact of the connections that we're making with the learners. Imagine people from Sulu, yes. Zambongba, Tacloba, yes. no? nakaka-interact sila with Phil Ams and Phil oh, Canadian. Saan ang mga komunidad nyo ngayon? Um, right now, we have uh, actively eight communities. So in yes. Tacloban, we have Sulu, we have Zamboanga, Arena Blanco, Zamboanga. We have in Bohol, Loon, and um, Sagbayan. And then in Metro Manila, we have in Payatas and Smoky Mountain. Those are our first two pilot communities uh, from four years ago. And then also in Tataloan and Santo Domingo, Quezon City. So we're trying to set up with the homeless community in QC also and the uh, Ateneo Center for Educational Development Community. So mm-hmm. working on yun nga, Pangasinan Villasis. So hopefully yes. we, we have uh, a second batch of communities in July. So Villasis and working on some other prospects. So hopefully um maka maka set up talaga kami ng successful proof of concept so that by year three, plug and play na lang siya sa mga LGU, sa mga barangay, sa mga provinces yes. and really 5 million of Hindi our ba may, wala ba kayong tie up with the Department of Education? Uh, we yeah. do like in the on um locally we we have partnerships with uh local deped um uh districts there so very good para that's what we... para lalong lumawak o lumaki itong proyekto niyo oh we hope we hope yes, when yes. we're ready to scale it will really be uh, uh embraced talaga nationally no we just want to syempre parang we want to prove first na it's workable that it's efficient and effective And um, that's the plan. So right now, uh, ayun ang aming <laughs> focus is to really make sure the program is working and is really going to help the people na uh, we are targeting. Kasi sa mga nakikinig na nonood nun, baka excited sila, mag-enroll na sila tapos wala pa sila. <laughs> mga slots available. Yeah. Well, oo. Unti-unti naman. We, we have uh, trainings naman going on. They can join. But, um, pero yeah. kasi right now yung yung app namin um it's you know still it's a work in progress it's there pero syempre may mga bugs but, but our skills training program will start next month and yeah. it's 10 months it's an 18 month program eh so uh-huh. we really want to make sure prepared talaga the learners who sign up hindi lang ito parating ang- na taon siguro ready na kayo tumanggap ng mga yes. ang mga estudyante para sa learning, virtual learning uh-huh. system. At saka, ano, we really need volunteers, you know, our kaakbay yes. tutors, uh, from, fil- from, you know, our diaspora, yung mga kaibigan and kapatids, we call them mentors, who will be journeying with our learners para siguradong matapos talaga nila. Iba kasi yung you have somebody with you who's coaching you, di ba, who's encouraging you. Um, hmm. Mas malaki yung chances na matapos mo. So, So, we, hope, we hope they sign up with us. Very good. So, yeah. meron ka bang uh, panawagan sa mga nanin, nanonood, nakikinig na yun? Baka naman merong good Samaritan dyan. Okay. <laughs> marami. <laughs> marami. <laughs> yes. Uh-oh. Yeah. Um, I, I really think lahat tayo, you know, we have roles to play in this work because, um, you know, we, we have... Um, Diba, diba Women's Month ngayon, which by the way, I want to plug my book. So I wrote this book, yes. An Entrepreneurial Wonder Woman. Entrepreneurial um, Wonder Woman. Now, we wanted talaga to to highlight stories na 
Um, kasi di ba, women, especially sa, sa states or sa abroad, we are really known as nurses, caregivers, mm-hmm. um, which is wonderful, no? But very, so I wanted to highlight the story of an entrepreneur, a female entrepreneur, and that's my sister actually, but super inspiring na. So we want more stories like that, especially from among our poor. Um, and that's really my message also na, um, and what we're doing in Click Me is making people believe in themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, kasi a lot of our brethren, di ba, nawala na ng pag-asa, nag-give up na. And surprisingly, like our Click Me learners right now, a lot of them are in their 30s. Um, may anak na, ganon, but still haven't given up hope. So we want to give them that chance. Yes. No, Pero baka, Rose, may mak- baka may gustong mag-donate. Meron ba kayong facility? Of course. Of course. <laughs> yan. Kailangan, kailangan natin yan. Yeah. We, um, so our entity is Geconomics. So we have our, um, our, you know, in our website, clickme.ph, nandun yung donate page. Um, and uh, both in the U.S. and in the Philippines, mm-hmm. uh, Geconomics, ang entity. Uh, they can, and hindi naman lang, I mean, even in kind, kasi we, we provide gadgets. They you know oh, the smartphones, we provide laptops, laptops. Mga, mga internet. So, you know, we welcome partners talaga and collaborators yes in this work kasi even the training programs you know talagang bayanihan style eh. we are tapping a lot of um as, you know accomplished professionals there yeah. who really just want to help you know we have a cyber security retired um executive who's doing our training course for tawag namin cyber secure eh kasi yeah. it's a <laughs> in demand skill yes. and uh, our volunteers sabi niya in demand yan, kayang-kaya yan ng ating mga learners. So, yeah. he's working with us yun, to develop the, the training program for, for that. Tapos, coding then yung software yes. engineer. Meron kaming partner, three, three month, six to six month program, mga ganon. So, nakakatawa. So, may mga monthly chika sessions kami. So, yung mga volunteers dyan who want to share their knowledge, their expertise, you know, just, uh, we're, we welcome collaborators of all kinds. We, so, we ulitin people. natin? How to reach you? Um, they can go to our website, clickme.ph. Ayan. And just click sign up. Be a part of the yeah. volunteer army. Yes. Yes. K-L-I-K. K-L-I-K. Ayan. And E. M-E is mobile education. Yeah. M-E. Maraming salamat sa inyo, Rose. Napakagandang kabutihan na ginagawa nyo para sa ating mga kapwa. May tanong lang ako. Yes, of course. Talagang Ano pinakamahirap mo at masabi mo yung sa journey mo at nasabi mo kayang-kaya ko yan. Yeah. <laughs> Oo nga eh. I think my most difficult one was um my entrepreneurial journey kasi part of our work in economics is social enterprise development. Yes. So I set up a business myself when I I moved to the Philippines. Uh, Mabuhay Rest Stop in Luneta. Yeah. Yeah. A travel cafe because I'm a champion of Philippine culture. Kaya lang. So I was there for like six years, no? Six years. And then I had to go back to the U.S. So medyo challenging talaga yun, di ba? You know how hard it is to run a business. And lalo na ako, you know, I, I didn't even know. I'm not a restaurateur. I'm not a chef. Yeah. I just set it up to really support and champion cultural mm-hmm. tourism and social tourism. So, ngayon, so ang hirap noon, syempre no, financially talagang ano no, but but ngayon nakikita ko, we have what we call PHL Cafe. We're hoping to set it up in North America, uh, God willing this year, and yeah. it will be a gate to the Philippines. So, ang hirap-hirap, that was my most difficult and painful then the uh, experience, but somehow I know God um, you know, it's it's some it's something we build on to continue yes. on. Hindi tayo mag-give up. Tuloy-tuloy lang. Of <laughs> course. Never give up. Yung mga yes. kwentong kababaihan po natin. At meron pa tayong good news sa second guest po natin na yes. si partner Emmer. Gisela Concepcion sa susunod ah. nating break. Yes. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Maraming salamat, Rose. At kahit na, yes, kahit na nagmirang na nga ibang nang iiwan, but tayo ay kayang-kaya mo yan, wala tayong iwan na. <laughs> okay, thank you. Pagbabalik po kami, kaya mo yan. Sa lahat ng bagay, simula pa lang, siguraduhin max protection 